Whatever's about to happen, it sure is going to be big. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 theories we have going into Westworld Season 2. This world deserves to die. Because this is your world. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking over some ideas and thoughts for what Season 2 may have in store for us. Whether it's believable or not, if there's a slight possibility for it, we'll be talking about it. Oh, and just be warned that we'll be going over key events from the first season, so consider this your official spoiler warning. What they are, yet I know not, but they will be the terrors of the Earth. Number 10. The Existence of a Multiple Park Franchise we know the story of Westworld is just getting started, and a world with its characters and storylines has potential to keep us entertained for numerous seasons. But there's a chance that it may throw teasers for what Delos has in store for its other parks. We did catch a glimpse of assets for a feudal Japan-looking park with the initials SW attached. Some think this is Samurai World, while others believe it's Shogun World. There were a multitude of different parks in the original movies, and the going theory, according to some thorough digging by fans, is that there will be six parks in total. There's Medieval World, Roman world, and of course, Westworld. Number 9. Ford will live on in some form. It's hard to imagine seeing anyone for the last time in a show like this. Ford went out in a spectacular fashion at the gala, being shot in the back of the head by Dolores, witnessed by a crowd of people. We all want Sir Anthony Hopkins back in Season 2, but it would be tough to make it happen since his character's brains are all over the floor. Good thing this is a show about lifelike robots, right? There's also the possibility that the Ford that was killed at the event is the host version, which means the real Ford is still around. I cannot see the things that will hurt them. I've spared them that. Number 8. Charlotte Hale is Maeve's daughter. This is Charlotte Hale, the executive director of our board. It's no surprise that the hosts are given memories that don't belong to them, yet still carry the emotional weight of them. The park has been active for decades now, and Maeve has been there for a long time. Just like we've seen with Ford, it's possible that Charlotte had a host version created of her when she was a child, and that's who we see in Maeve's memories. The note that she has that is supposedly going to lead her to her daughter who's in the park may very well lead her to Charlotte at the gala event. Number 7. Most Westworld employees are hosts. As you've no doubt gathered, our tech is in fact a host, one that has been coded for the purposes of this simulation to read as a human. There are definitely hosts operating as employees, but how many of them are there, and who are they? With Bernard being one of their top tier employees, as well as a host, there's no denying that some of the lowly workers are hosts as well. With the awareness they seem to be acquiring, complications will arise when they start to question their own identity and the place they are currently in. Additionally, with Bernard able to program the host, if there happens to be a whole lot of them, it's going to get very chaotic behind the scenes. Like I said, I built all of this. Number six, we'll find out what Abernathy was up to. What is your itinerary? To meet my maker. Peter Abernathy was quite a prominent figure early in the series, featuring heavily in the first episode. His discovery of the photo of the outside world triggers something within, signifying either that his code has been altered, or, like others, he was starting to become self-aware. He's put into cold storage, only to be woken by Charlotte toward the end of the season, and is given 35 years of data and tasked with boarding the train to the mainland. We'll have to wait for season two to arrive to see if he completes that task. How am I supposed to do that? You're a writer. Make up a story. Number five, Dolores is still under Delos control. And now I finally understand what you were trying to tell me. It's satisfying to know that Dolores now has free will and is able to make choices of her own. This ability leads her to the Gala Massacre, setting off a chain of events that only causes more chaos. Now, what if she was only led to believe that she was making the choice on her own and is actually being controlled by Delos? A lot of her character development would be undone, but it would only mean that her journey to true sentience will be much more fulfilling, both for her and the audience. Number 4. The park is set on another planet. So when do you get to rotate home again? Westworld is huge, and if the possibility that there are other parks becomes an actuality, then where the hell is Delos getting all this space? we do see references to the outside world being labeled as the mainland, which may hint at the park taking place on a remote island. 
But what if it's actually a whole other planet? It's the future, so we'd expect space travel and colonization to be advanced enough to make it possible. And the company has billions upon billions of dollars, so the idea of a different planet doesn't sound too crazy. Number three, all the hosts are replicas of real humans. I, I just, perhaps you didn't want him to feel cold or ashamed. You wanted to cover his modesty. Was that it? It doesn't get cold, it doesn't feel ashamed. It's hard creating faces from scratch, especially so many of them. Either Westworld's host designers have incredible imaginations, or they're pulling inspiration from something. Bernard is a replica of Arnold, so it's a possibility that all the other hosts are modeled after real humans too. This will definitely cause problems when the hosts inevitably encounter their real-life counterparts. Either they're going to have to accept that they have no place in the real world, or they're going to have to convince some people that they're the original. Number two, the real business plan is selling immortality to the rich. I know that you think that you have a handle on what this is gonna be. Guns and tits and all that mindless shit that I usually enjoy. This one's a long shot, but it's quite plausible once you really think about it. The whole plan was to awaken sentience in hosts, and we see that happening during the duration of the show. What if the whole idea was for the park to fail, to prove that sentient hosts are a good thing and not an issue, so that people may transport their conscience into a host and potentially live forever? Now, we don't see anything about conscience transfers happening or referred to, but it could be a possibility in the future. From the ashes, build a new world. Our world. Number one. Season two will go beyond Westworld. Have you ever seen anything like this place? Doesn't look like anything to me. While all we got were slight snippets of talk about the outside world, we never got to see any of it. It'd be exciting to see what the rest of the world is like in Westworld's vision of the future. Will we see how Delos operates? Will we get to observe new characters as they contemplate visiting the park? As hosts become sentient, some may actually manage to leave the park, Watching as they cope with the real world, shown in the same terrific storytelling fashion Westworld has been acclaimed for, will be captivating to say the least. We built this world together. A world where dreams come true. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.